Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Sports on your favorite platform, Forzan Sports. In this episode, I'm going to review the Chelsea um, Zenit St. Petersburg Champions League uh, uh, opener. The uh, Champions League um, defense is already underway and Chelsea uh, won 1-0, courtesy Romelu Lukaku. But before I roll on and start the analysis, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, Please, please, please do well to hit the subscribe button, touch the notification bell, share the program to as many viewers as possible, um, smash the like button if you enjoyed the presentation, agree or disagree with me in the comment box down below. And um, it was a Lukaku show once again, um, despite uh, the fact that um, some uh, observers or pundits of the game are critical of Chelsea's performances, of Chelsea's performance in this game. But um, I, myself, uh, wasn't 100% impressed though, but I was okay with the performance in that um, there was dominance on the part of Chelsea. When you look at um, the ball possession, as the statistics says, um, some have quoted it 64%, others 66%, others even 62%. Um, Chelsea's um, uh, 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 platform quoted it 61%. So um, you could see that in all these um, quotations and scenarios, um, Chelsea, Chelsea um, uh, played, um, uh, controlled the game. Uh, Chelsea, Chelsea controlled the game in all these um, scenarios. You could see that um, we, uh, Chelsea controlled the game. And um, not surprising, Hakim Ziyech came to, uh, close through his corner kick. He uh, nearly scored uh, in the first half. And uh, also Romelu Lukaku nearly added the second. And Antonio Rudiger, what a, a defender and a player. Dribble from um, the defence to, to the final third of the opponent, he shot the ball, unfortunately he couldn't score the goal, he could have been the, one of the wonderful goals uh, for Chelsea. I remember some time back, Zuma also did the Ronaldinho, just like Antonio Rodriguez did Ronaldinho, he dribbled everybody and went in for the shot, but, shot, but unfortunately he couldn't get it on target. And so, um, Chelsea played well, the reason why people are critical or pundit allies are critical of the performance is that um, Chelsea couldn't convert, didn't convert their chances. And in these games, um, it does happen in the course of the season. And um, our strength in depth was also highlighted. When you look at um, the selection, a couple of changes uh, also came in. Mason Mount came on. Um, uh, as usual, Lukaku kept his place. Um, uh, Raul, Saul Niguez was on the bench again, despite the performance. Uh, Rhys James came back from suspension. The suspension, anyway, is not applicable to the Champions League. It was in the league that he was red carded. So he came back and um, against Tottenham Space, I think he has saved the suspension. He may be available. Marcus Alonso in there. But I would have wished maybe Ben Chilwell should have been given a chance to start. Not, but though Ben Chilwell came in the second half, Antonio Rudiger, Christensen, Aspel Equator, and then Edward Mendy, the King Mendy himself. And then um, Chelsea controlled the game. That's why I wasn't worried. And when you look at this um, Zenith St. Petersburg team, you shouldn't underrate them at all. As um, it's, uh, con it's co co comprises um, of, uh, it comprises some Brazilian players, right? Comprises some uh, Brazilian players there, the Claudino. Uh, the Iranian player as Asmoon, and then the Malcolm, and then um, Douglas Santos, all in there. They played well and gave Chelsea a hell of trouble. And so, for people to conclude uh, that that's why I'm saying I'm being cautious to say if Zenit St. Petersburg who put in a performance like this against Juventus or Mamo FC in the other group matches, they surely will have a chance of qualification. Yeah, they will threaten uh, one of Juve or Chelsea once again. They will threaten one of the places if they put in, they sustain this kind of performance. That's why I'm being cautious. I'm using if clause that if they sustain this performance, you know, some of these play, uh, teams when they come into one big game and they do well, the next game they falter. That's why I'm saying if they sustain the uh, performance they exhibited against Chelsea, they have uh, a chance, a chance of um, threatening one of the places of qualification. Yeah, and so and when you look at their formation, the reason why Chelsea struggle to break them down is they are playing. The 5 um, 4 1 formation. Yeah, they are playing 5 4 1 formation. And so when you look at them, so 5 4 1 formation, that they are defensively crowded. And so you, that, that was, it wasn't surprised that Romelu Lukaku couldn't get the services and the passes. And some of the players to Mason Mount in this game, unfortunately, didn't do well as I expected. You know, the standard that Mason Mount has set for himself. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm judging him by his standard. Hakim Ziyech also had a 
quite game though he had a wonderful corner which nearly resulted in a goal. And Mason Mount should have released the ball quickly for Lukaku when um, Kai Aves came on for Akin Ziyech in the second half and um, uh, we were pressing a little bit better than we used to. Do you know Akin Ziyech has his style of playing so uh, that's unique and also Kai Aves has his style of playing and so it depends on the kind of game that they may fit but in this game I think Akin Ziyech didn't fit the uh, defensive nature of um, Zenit St. Petersburg. Uh, yeah. And so that was why uh, they were struggling to shift in and give in the passes there. Yeah. And so when you look at, let me look at the ratings. Lukaku to the rescue once again, as I highlighted. Mendy had 7.5 over 10. Aspil Equator, 8. Rudiger, 8. Yeah, Rudiger and um, uh, Romelu Lukaku. We've been somewhere debating who should have been the best, the man of the match. Romelu Lukaku uh, did, uh, what's the difference in uh, Chelsea securing the uh, points though, but um, Antonio Rudiger also kept Chelsea uh, the clean sheet with Edward Mendy. He was stopping some of the shot of Zenit St. Petersburg, and so I'll give him eight. Uh, Rhys James didn't perform, so I'll give him six. Unfortunately, he had a poor game. Rhys James of all people. And then when you look at Kovacic, he had a fantastic game also. Eight though, earlier part of the first half, he was um, uh, doing some uh, uh, faulty runs, but later on, he composed himself. Jorginho, as usual, eight. Jorginho, Alonso 7, Mason Mount 6. You see that his standard has dropped. Akim Ziyech 6, Lukaku 8.5, man of the match performance there. Yeah, and so uh, the most important thing, all in all, uh, the most important thing in the game is to secure your three points in the group stages, which Chelsea did. Remember last season against Sevilla in our first match, uh, we couldn't get the three points. We, it ended uh, goalless. It was a barren scoreline. Before we went in the second leg to beat Sevilla 4-0 and won all, uh, all the other matches to qualify as top of as group leaders. And this uh, game to Juventus also won 3-0 against Mamo FF. And um, in the second game, Chelsea will be traveling to uh, Italy to face Juventus on the um, 29th or so, 29th of this month. And so hopefully we may consolidate ourselves in that uh, game to take over the group by cementing our top position there. Uh, we will be going in for the win there. And um, from judging from the projections at, at the end of the match day one, you could see that possibly Mamo FF will be the weaker, weakest link of the group. And so hopefully some of, most of the, all the teams will be trying to pick points from them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do well to hit the subscribe button, touch the notification bell, share the program to as many viewers as, as possible, smash the like button if you enjoy my presentation, and then... Um, comments to agree or disagree with my um, analysis yeah and also those of you who want to buy Chelsea merchandise and JC Sam do uh, send your comment uh, in the comment box by sending your email or your or possible uh, uh, email or anything that I can contact you for a 10% discount especially for watching viewers of for Zan Sports. So if you are interested and you have the money to buy merchandise, a 10% discount off, um, I will help you with uh, my discount code. Um, so without much I will do, I will say um, this is where I draw down the curtains uh, on today's edition. And um, congratulations to Thomas Tuchel and um, the team for uh, getting, crucially, our most uh, important points for the start of the game. Uh, others, some even Manchester United lost, though it's away. So let's take the three points calmly. We would have scored a three or four because we saw we had some chances that we should have converted. Yeah, yeah. So, so they, it was hard luck on our part. That's why I don't want to take negative out of this performance. There was positive because we controlled the game. Yeah. So hopefully uh, we will be doing well against um, Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday. This is uh, where I, I sign off for this program. Cheers. I love you. Bye bye.